So the thing about editing is I can tell a little bit of a story when I actually do this stuff. So I've got my video, and it kind of shows the hall, and it's just me panning. I also wanted to show you the immediacy of, like, here's something I just shot, and right away it's right here on my emulator um, that I, after I moved it into my project. So it was just that quick for me to get stuff in. Um, so the story I'm going to tell is that I got up here, I looked at this empty hall, and I was like, wow, okay, I'm going to be kind of nervous when I'm doing this thing. So I need to go to my happy place. And when I go to my happy place, I think about my kids. So I'm going to have like a flashback right in the middle of my looking across this hallway, and I'm going to insert some video. Now remember, I'm, I'm keeping you on the same path of the demo that we showed before. I'm going to show you a clip, I'm going to break it down, and I'm going to throw something in the middle. So let me say that I'm going to edit this. So down below I've got my cheesy timeline. I call it cheesy because, like, you know, we did it. Um, and you will do much better. Uh, I'm going to say I'm going to edit that guy. And I can say, you know what? I kind of like where it starts. That's okay. But, you know, this whole when it comes and pans back across, uh, it's kind of long. I think maybe I've kind of got the point right about here before I actually see that. Oh, and, and you know what? I've got live scrubbing, so I can just jump wherever I want and pick a point and go, yeah, too much, right about, say, there, and end it there. OK, brand new clip. So basically, trim time from start, trim time from end just did their business. Um, and I basically got myself a shorter clip. So originally 16 seconds, I'm now down to seven. All right, so right around here, right about the middle, is where I go, oh, I need to go to my happy place. I need to think of something, something different than just being up on this stage and presenting. So let's just cut it into two clips. So now I got two clips where I used to have one. And let's go get some media. All right, so because I've got live preview and real-time scrubbing, I can go right ahead. I can take a look at this clip. This is my daughter, Hope. And you saw her earlier in the birthday photos. And you saw her actually doing these bubbles. So we were on vacation, and she was doing bubbles off the thing. That's pretty cool. Um, I love her dearly, but a little of that goes a long way. So obviously, I want less of it. Um, but that's going to be my happy thought. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to edit it. And let's say it starts to get interesting. I got real-time scrubbing, which is so cool. Let's say it starts to get interesting right about here. And set it in there. And let her blow bubbles for about, you know, two, three seconds. Let's go back just a little bit. About two, seven, right there. And now I've got an edited clip. And she's blowing bubbles. That's great. So let's go back. And you know what? Let's put it in the middle. So this is, I'm doing now in real time what you just saw me actually describe to you in code and in the original presentation. Um, what, I've, what I've been able to do now is create a fully edited sequence. So I'm panning across the hallway. I cut away to a new clip. And I'm back to panning across the hallway again. So a couple things happened there. Um, that's an actual demonstration of, the, of, of what you saw me taking you through there. But that's also the first time in public a Windows phone has ever actually performed an edit for the very first time. Um, and we're pretty happy about that. The fact that do you, today is the day we, that this thing uh, is fully real and live and you guys can use it. OK, so one last thing. Whenever I have a flashback or I go to my happy place, it's not in color. It's in black and white. Because you know what? All flashbacks should be in black and white, at least in my opinion. So let's do one more thing. Let's go to this clip right here. Let's edit it. Let's put it into grayscale. All right, I'm going to play this right here in, in preview, real-time preview. So I applied a black and white filter, and I'm seeing exactly what I wanted to see to the user applied immediately. So black and white, real-time effects being applied. Let's go back to the composition. Play it down. And you'll see in the edited master, the black and white's applied. And we're right back out there again. Fully edited sequence, filter applied. All right. That's full feature editing. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send you over to the